Hey there guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your tip of the day and today we are looking at ways that you can make better use of the space on your document in Microsoft Word. Now a default option in Word is for your margins to be about an inch or 2.54 centimeters on the left and right side. That's this white space here and this white space here. And that's a best practice that Microsoft use based on whether you need to staple or bind the content. People like to write notes in printed copies and to make it easier to follow and and read whether it's on the screen or a printed copy. OK, so that's the default mode that it uses. Just because that's the default doesn't mean that you have to accept it. If you need to get all of your content into a certain page count, so resumes, cover letters, uh, certain applications and documents will require you to have a maximum number of pages that you can submit. And one of the ways that you can work with this is to tinker with your margins. So we go up to the layout tab in Word and the first section here will be margins and there's a drop down. So you can see the normal is one inch all the way around. Now it looks odd. I work in metric because I'm in Australia, but if you were in the US or potentially through Europe or the UK, you might have that show as one inch, but that's the conversion. So we've got a few options. We've got a moderate where our top and bottom stay the same, but we start to narrow things on the left and right. Um, but you can go full scale and halve all of it. So if I was to do that, what happens is that my entire document suddenly you can see that white space is so different. And what it means is that my document is now it's still six pages because I've got page breaks in. But on each page, there's a lot more space because we've managed to condense and pull that up. For example, if I zoom this out so you can see this page in full, I'll just bring this out a little bit so you can see the page. Bring it out again so we can see the whole page. Come on. There we go. Right. So that's the page. If I go back to my normal, you can see that it comes all the way down here. When I go back to narrow, it pulls everything up because each line spreads out a little bit further. If you need to look at ways you can condense the page number of your documents, have a play around with the margins. Try narrow, try moderate or set some custom margins for yourself.